the yeas are 50, the nays are 49. The bill as amended is passed. And with that, the Senate on Saturday passed President Joe Biden's $1.9 trillion COVID-19 relief plan in a party-line vote. After an all-night session that saw Democrats battling amongst themselves over jobless aid and the Republican minority failing in attempts to push through some three dozen amendments, 50 Democrats voted for the American Rescue Plan. Not a single Republican did. In what would be one of the largest stimulus packages in U.S. history, the final bill includes $400 billion in one-time payments of $1,400 to most Americans, $300 a week in extended jobless benefits, and $350 billion in aid to state and local governments that have seen the pandemic blow a huge hole in their budget. I promised the American people that help was on the way. President Biden on Saturday hailed the bill's passage and promised it would supercharge the end of the pandemic. This nation has suffered too much for much too long. And everything in this package is designed to relieve the suffering and to meet the most, most urgent needs of the nation and put us in a better position to prevail. Republicans have broadly supported previous stimulus packages to fight the virus and revive the economy. But with Democrats in charge of the White House and both chambers of Congress, they criticized this bill as too expensive and unnecessary. Minority Leader Mitch McConnell. Democrats inherited a tide that is already turning. 2021 is already set to be our comeback year. While Friday's job report showed that U.S. employment surged in February, adding 379,000 jobs, the country has yet to replace 9.5 million jobs lost since last year, and the White House says it could take years to do so. The bill will now head to the House, which approved a slightly different version a week earlier, and then to the president's desk. Good afternoon. It's a good day today. You know, uh, when we took office 45 days ago, I promised the American people that help was on the way. Today, I can say we've taken one more giant step forward in delivering on that promise that help was on the way. I want to thank, start off by thanking the Vice President, but I want to thank all of the senators who worked so hard to reach a compromise to do the right thing for the American people during this crisis and voted to pass the American Rescue Plan. For, a minute, for over a year, the American people were told they were on their own. They were seeing, uh, we've seen how hard that has been on so many Americans. As of last night, 519,064 lives lost to the virus. This nation has suffered too much for much too long. And everything in this package is designed to relieve the suffering and to meet the most, most urgent needs of the nation and put us in a better position to prevail. Starting with beating this virus and vaccinating the country, the resources in this plan will be used to expand and speed up manufacturing and distribution of vaccines. Over 85 percent of American households will get direct payments of $1,400 per person. For a typical middle-class family of four, husband and wife working, making $100,000 a year total with three kids, they'll get $5,600. I mean, with two kids, we'll get $5,600 and will be on the way soon. That means the mortgage can get paid. That means the child can stay in community college. That means maintaining the health insurance you have. It's going to make a big difference in so many lives in this country. Unemployment benefits will be extended for 11 million Americans. Schools are going to have the resources they need to open safely. States and local governments that have lost tens of thousands of essential workers will be, have the resources they need available to them. When I was elected, I said we were going to get the government out of the business of battling on Twitter and back in the business of delivering for the American people, of making a difference in their lives, giving everyone a chance, a fighting chance, of showing the American people that their government can work for them. And passing the American Rescue Plan will do that. 